Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about the cardigan sweater. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos come right to you. In addition, if you like it, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you click on the like button. And if you want more information about men's style, make sure to go to Real Men Real Style and download my free 47-page ebook. The link to it is right below the video. Okay, so the cardigan sweater. I think over the last 30 to 40 years, it's gotten a bad rap. What we've seen is it has, in a sense, been... I think because it's a unisex garment, something that you see both men and women wearing, that it has kind of lost a bit of its masculinity. And that's too bad because it has a storied history. So let's go back to the, uh, was it the seventh Earl of Cardigan? Uh, he was a prominent 19th century British military figure. He made the look popular. And overall, I would have to say that this it sends a very strong signal. It's something that many of us associate with academics and we associate it with men who are in a position of power. Usually something that, you know, if you're looking to project that, if you want to create a more stately image, if you're perhaps sitting on a panel and you're a judge or you're going to be giving a presentation and you don't want to be mistaken for one of the students and you're about the same age, which happens actually with a lot of TAs and grad students, this may be exactly what you're looking for. So let's talk about the style. The style is we see an open front. So we have these buttons that go all the way down. You do occasionally see zippers. Zippers are going to be much more informal and I don't recommend it for a first cardigan. So usually the buttons, and by the way, it has the same rules as the jacket. So you leave the bottom button undone. And I like to leave the top button undone as well. Gives it but right there. It's a very nice look, I think. Uh, you're also going to see pockets on this. So I have some pockets. There are those pockets right down there. And this one is a little bit more of a military design. So it has a breast pocket right here as well. Um, and that's about it. You're not going to see epaulets. You're not going to see, you know, this is a good fit on me. And so let's quickly talk about the fit. Very important when you're out there choosing a cardigan. I would look at different brands, perhaps even order them uh, if you can go into stores and try them on. You want something that fits well on your body, not close because you're usually going to be wearing a dress shirt, uh, sometimes a tie, you, you, but close enough that you could actually put a sports jacket over this or another type of jacket. So this isn't your final layer, although you can go out and you can wear it by itself with a dress pair of, or a pair of dress slacks, some nice uh, dress shoes, or you can even dress this down. I could wear this with a nice pair of jeans and you know, a casual pair of leather shoes. Okay, so we've talked about the fit. We've talked about some of the style. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the fabric. You're gonna see this usually made either from cotton or wool or a blend in between. As well as you're going to see some cotton synthetic blends. I would, you know, synthetic has come a long way. So unless this is a vintage cardigan that was made perhaps in the, the 60s or 70s, you're going to be okay looking at some synthetics. The great thing about that is they help save you a bit on price. And uh, But if you want this for warmth, let's say you're in Wisconsin or Canada or a part of the U.S. that gets really cold or the world that gets really cold, you're going to want to look for something that's wool that gives a bit more insulation. Okay, so I've talked about what to wear this with. Um, well, let's get into that a bit more detail. You can wear this. It fits, I would say, uh, you want it close enough. Again, you can wear it under a sports jacket. You can actually wear this with a suit if it's a dark conservative color or if you're looking for a bit of clash, but make sure that it's of the more formal style. Once you start going into the zipper realm, it really dresses down the outfit that you're with. In addition, uh, let's talk about with the pants. Again, works with jeans, works with dress slacks and anything in there between. So you can wear it with cords, you can wear it with chinos. Uh, that's all I can think of. I wouldn't wear it with shorts. Don't, don't go that route. <laughs> And uh, the last thing I would say, guys, is many guys, they don't know the history of this. They don't know the image and the power that it projects. So wear it and be confident, especially if you're a younger man and you want something to, in a sense, set you apart from the crowd. It does have, uh, you need to know the history, I think, to really fully appreciate this piece. But I believe it's a classic piece that should be in many men's wardrobes. Not all men, but uh, if you find yourself in a position that you can use this, go for it. Okay, guys, that's about it. If you want more information about men's style, I've got an awesome, awesome ebook over 600 pages, 14-hour uh, audio. And by the way, this thing is going to be getting even better. Look for the update here in 2013, and I will see you guys in the next video.
，拜拜。